Hi, I'm Mitch, and you're watching Scruffy City Aquatics. I want to do something a little bit different. Um, well, it's a new channel, so everything's a bit different, right? Anyway, um, a few years back, uh, unboxings were all the rage, and I'm going to kind of do my spin on an unboxing because I got a package. And the tape may be familiar to some of y'all, but this is a... Uh, package that I just received uh, this week from Aquarium Co-op. I've been ordering from Aquarium Co-op for a number of years now. Um, I've been watching Corey's channel since almost as long as I've been in the hobby and some of the things that he has uh, I found really work for me and I like them. Now for most things that I use uh, in the hobby I do buy at my local fish store and I 100% believe we should support our local fish stores the best that we can. But there's a few things that the co-op sells, mainly their own branded items that I can't get anywhere else and I haven't found anything to replace them. So I'll continue ordering. And I know Corey has the new uh, program going on where he's trying out local stores. If you see this, Knoxville, we've got a lot of great people who love the hobby and we would buy your products. Actually, we probably are already buying your products, but you wouldn't have to fool with shipping them. I think you could make more money. Anyway, let's let's open this up and let's see what is in the package. I know what's in the package. I'm gonna let you see what's in the package. Huh. I thought that was already cut. Box is a little damaged, but shouldn't hurt anything that I ordered. Nothing was that sensitive. No plants, no nothing like that. Stuff for plants maybe all stuff for plants uh, just packing list I'm trying to this is not a good setup I gotta come up with something else so I can't put this on the floor because the dog will get it I'll put it right back there I'll put that there as well all right so let's start off with what's in the box, right? Let's see what's in the box. Uh, I'm going to start off with the number one reason why I order from Aquarium Co-op. And I'll set the box right there. And that is Easy Green. I love Easy Green. Let me open this bag up so that I can hold the bottle and I'll put the pump up there. I love this product. And it's the only fertilizer that I've used. I've considered using, what is it, Tropica. Um, one of my local stores sells Tropica. Um, and I may try it at some point if I ever have trouble getting a hold of some Easy Green. But right now, most of my orders from Aquarium Co-op include this. Uh, it's an all-in-one fertilizer, and that's what I like about it. When I first started doing plants, I tried to use, um, is it Flourish, Seachem's Flourish? And, you know, Seachem Flourish has a lot of great nutrients in it, but it's not an all-in-one fertilizer. It doesn't have everything that your plants need. But it's built that way. They actually build it that way so that you buy the components that you need for your water. And, you know, in theory, that's, that's a great thing. And I know a lot of people even use the, uh, the dry version of those uh of those fertilizers in order to create their own concoction that they treat their tank with and and that's great i'm just not at that point in the hobby so an all-in-one fertilizer is what i need and i guess i should have said at the beginning of the video not sponsored i did buy these products um i even paid shipping for them <laughs> shipping prices have gone up Corey, please please work a deal out with one of my local stores <laughs> So yeah, this, uh, this bottle right here, this bottle is 16.9 ounces for those of us in the US or 500 milliliters. And it treats 5,000 gallons. Now I'll be honest with you, I considered trying Tropica instead of ordering Easy Green when I saw the price of the shipping. I'm that cheap. Uh, because I can go to a store down the street, and it's a little further than down the street, but it's not that far, it's about 30 minutes, and, and buy Tropica. So, I considered it, but for 20 bucks, I think it only did like, I don't, I, I don't remember how much it was. I'm not going to speculate. Maybe I look it up and put it here on the video somewhere, but it's nowhere near 5,000. And I've got a 75 gallon tank. I mean, 
it's like seven 10 gallon tanks, right? So I use quite a bit of this and I love it. And it's everything that your plant needs. Also, before you ask in the comments, yes, it is fish, shrimp, and snail safe. What makes Easy Green an all-in-one? Well, it includes nitrogen. Well, wait a minute. Are you saying it includes nitrates? Yeah, I'm saying that it includes nitrogen. <laughs> you do need to know how much of this you're going to use. Um, you know, there is a dosing instructions on the back. And I love the way it's worded. Um, you know, if you have low light, dose once a week. If you have medium or if you have medium light, dose, eh, dose, dose twice a week. <laughs> and one pump equals 10 gallons. Now, that's true in a starter tank. It's not true for this 75 gallon. I have a lot of plants in here that need a lot of nutrients. This, this, is, this is something I love for my tank. All right, let's see what else is in the box. A couple more items, maybe three. And we have Aquarium Co-op's Root Tabs. Now this is the smaller bottle. I normally get the 60 tabs. This is just the 20 tabs. Um, but I didn't really, I knew I was going to need some before I would place another order. So I wanted to go ahead and have some on hand and I'm, I'm completely out. Uh, these Amazon swords eat it like crazy. And you can see these crypts down here struggling a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some in the substrate even though I don't need to fill the tank. So. I'll order 60 later. Right now, I just got 20. It was a good price on these. It's a lot cheaper than other brands. I know I could make my own cheaper, but I just feel like there's a lot of research that goes into this and in determining what to use in the mineralized topsoil and the red clay. Um, I just feel like they've probably done a better job than I could. And I know a lot of people do the Osmocote um, tabs or gel, gel cap, not gel caps, whatever they are. It's not a tablet, a gel cap. You know what I'm saying, where you, you know, you put it together and, well, actually you don't put it together yet. You put the soil in it, put it together. Yeah, those things. So I know I could try to make my own and probably would be cheaper, but I haven't done it yet. And I still might, I still think about it. I still look it up. I'm not ready to do that. I'll buy these. I'll continue to use these for now. Let me put that one up here as well. All right, let's see what else is in the box. Another green label, multi-test strips. I know, Mitch, you, you can't know what's going on in your tank with these, right? You, you can't know. You're going to kill all of your fish because you don't know how many nitrates are in there or how many ammonia. This does not test for ammonia anyway, so I'm just going blind. No, I have. Actually, I think they're behind the paper. I have some ammonia test strips too. I remember when I first got in the hobby and I started looking around online and everyone would say, oh, you're using test strips, don't do that. They're so inaccurate. You've got to use the API water test master, master, the API master test kit, the liquid kit. So I looked around at the stores and thought, I'm not paying $30 for a test kit. So I found them on Amazon a lot cheaper, uh, like 20 bucks. So I used the API master test kit for a long time. Uh, with the setup of this tank and the 25 gallon before it and probably for the 10 gallon as well. I used those and I tested and I would spend 15 minutes testing everything when I thought there was an issue or you know when I was first setting up the tank, whatever it was. Um, it just takes forever. Even if I just wanted to test nitrate, which is the most miserable test. <laughs> Even if I want to do that, that's like You've got shaking both the bottles, you've got, you know, getting the water, you've got putting the drops in the water and giving it a little bit of this and then take the cap back off and take the other one and get 10 more drops of that one. And then I have to put a paper towel over it because I don't know how anybody else does it, but I shake water everywhere when I would do this test. For what, a minute? And then wait five minutes? I mean, it's at least seven minutes. If you've got it like down packed at seven minutes and I realize it can be very accurate, I know. But you know what, if you do it wrong, it's not very accurate. And for a long time, I did it kind of wrong. I have no idea what my test was coming out to. For those of you using the master test kit and don't know, when you, drop, when you squeeze the bottle to get the drops, you have to do it very quickly to get uniform drops. If you're doing it slowly to make sure you get the exact same amount of 
liquid, you're doing it wrong and you're getting too much agent into your water. So your readings are not right. So these are kind of foolproof. I, I know that for years I've heard Corey say he used test strips to just kind of see, check things out, see how things are doing, know where he's at. Um, and then, you know, he would talk about APIs strips he didn't like. He did like Tetris strips. So I was open to the idea. And then I'd go and look at the price of the test strips. And it was like, I don't know, 20 something dollars for a few tests. And it's, that's just ridiculous. That's so much money. It was, and I had the liquid kit. So why would I ever pay that much for them? So I was waiting until I ran out of liquid kit. And I did. Um, I ran out of, I don't remember which one it was now. <laughs> I ran out of one of them. But I ended up buying nitrate on its own. I went to one of the, it was nitrate. I ran out of nitrate, so I needed the multi-test kit. These came out. I saw they, I saw that they were released. I was, I'm a member of Aquarium Co-op, so I got on the early order. And I grabbed these, and then I got to thinking, but what if they're wrong? What if they're not any good? And so I went to one of my local stores, and I picked up a nitrate liquid kit by itself. And my wife's like, well, didn't you just buy a test? And I was like, yes, yes, I did. But I need this one to test the test. And I did. I tested the test for quite a while until I was comfortable with it. And now I just test these. Um, these strips are so much easier to use. Um, they, you know, as far as the instructions go, three seconds in the water, you just move it around a little bit. You take it out, lay it down flat, let it sit for 30 seconds, 60 seconds. I have to look every time. The ammonia strips are 30 seconds in the water. Take them out and look at them. And that's it, you're done. With these, three seconds in the water, 60 seconds to sit, and then after that, you compare it to the color chart. And I'll tell you this, if you can see this, let me cover my face. <laughs> if, you, if you can see this, um, the chart's a lot easier to read. It is, it just is. That nitrate test, once you get into the orange, you don't know how much you have. I'm like, ah, I think it's about 30. It's not quite 40. Um, it could be 40 or 80. I'm not sure. You can't tell. It's hard to tell. It's hard for me to tell. Uh, the best thing I could do was take a picture and compare it and then post it online and ask people what they thought it was. That's, that's just what we do, right? This is so much easier. So if you look at this scale, and I know you can't see it very well. Let's see here. If you look at the scale, it's kind of blurry. That, that's horrible. Let's, how about if I do this? Now I can't see it to talk. That doesn't work. What do I do? All right, I'll, I'll insert like a picture of the card because they actually put a laminated card in here to make it even better. This is laminated, it's nice, it holds up really well. My old bottle, even though I've, I've threw what, 200 strips almost, uh, probably 196 or something like that, um, it still holds up. But they also include a laminated card that absolutely holds up. And I've got that here. I probably can't open it while I'm sitting here, um, but I have it here in the door of my uh, cabinet. Anyway, zero through 50, not much of a change. I mean, yeah, these can be kind of hard to tell the difference. Um, 10 and 25s, not much different. But if you've got a planet tank, you don't need to know about 10 or 25, unless you're going for those really deep reds. I, I hear you want about 10 for those, but the lighter the better on that. Uh, but 100, very big difference between these. This is water change. If you test this, you need a water change. And that's what I like. Um, same thing with nitrite. It's either, it's all or nothing. It's, if it's white, you're at zero. You got a little bit of pink. You need a water change. Change that water. Um, hardness is good. My water always reads 300. I just have hard water. I have to scrape it off. I have to scrape it out of the bucket when I do a water change. I can't pour all of it out. I'm kidding. That's not true. Um, and then my buffer, uh, that's what I said. <laughs> my pH, now my pH has changed a little bit. I used to always run about 8, um, 8.2 on the liquid kit. And, um, but since I've started doing uh, the uh, DIY CO2, I'm running more like a 7.2. Um, on this tank. So it, it is a little hard to read these. Um, and I will admit that I pull out the liquid kit to test my pH from time, especially when I was getting used to the CO2. Um, and if when I do the regulator and the tank and, and um, do the, um, yeah, the high tech CO2. <laughs> when I do that, I'll probably use my liquid kit again for that. 
Uh, but that's good. And then chlorine, it's either yellow or it's green. If it starts to look a little bit green, then you've got some chlorine in there. And they're just easier. They're just quicker and they're easier. And I love them. And this is a long unboxing. Let's get to the last item. If you'd like to know more about these products, that just looks bad. That's not, that's not a good look. Let's move that over here. Label out. Yeah, label out. I worked retail for a while. Um, if you'd like to know more about these products, uh, I think I've given you a pretty good high-end overview. Most of you probably already knew everything that I said. But if you'd like more details, make sure you tell me in the comments and I'll, I'll get you that information. We'll do something else. Um, maybe we even do a comparison at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, last item, Graham Co-op decal. Uh, every time you order from the co-op, you get a sticker. And on this one, for some reason, I got the .com decal. And I am happy with that. I'm glad that I have it. I have the aquarium co-op sticker. I have all of the stickers leading up to, I guess, this one. Uh, I thought there was another fish before this one. I don't really know the order. I don't know. But I need another angelfish. I've got to order another angelfish sticker because I gave one to my daughter. And now that I've decided I need to collect them, If this unboxing was something that you enjoyed, please comment, like the video, let me know. Uh, if you've, this is your first time on the channel, uh, if you'd like to, if you think this is content you might like or anything like it, if you like aquariums, uh, planted aquariums, 75 gallon community tank, um, if that's your thing, uh, you know, subscribe, take a chance, find out what, what I'm going to do. Um, I'm excited about sharing my hobby with you. And, and that's kind of the point of the channel. I've been thinking about that over the last few days. What is the point of doing this? You know, it's not for any gain of my own. It would be a long time before there would be any type of gain on my own, but I enjoy the hobby and I do enjoy creating the content. It's a lot of fun. So what's the point of the channel? And I think the channel is just to share my excitement about the hobby with you. And so I'm glad you're here. Thank you for giving me a chance and I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, be sure to comment, let me know um, if you wanna see more unboxings. <laughs> I don't know if I'll, if I'll do too many more. I don't order a lot of things. It'll be a while before I order again, but when I do, uh, it's an option. It's always an option. So like, subscribe, Click the bell if you want notifications. Enjoy your tanks and stay scruffy. Easy Green also has potassium and iron and a lot of things that you... Potassium? Isn't that potassium? Yeah, no potassium.